Hi, my name is Zach Fisher, and welcome to another one of my episodes on IT. And today I'm going to be talking about business applications. Now, this is something that I really struggled with getting into the industry. I was <clears throat> not exactly sure why we were putting all of these computers, these servers, these storage arrays, all of this network spending all this money just to um, to do what? Why, why do companies have all of this infrastructure? Well, there's this, um, this really cool concept. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys have heard of it. It's called the internet. And the internet, allows you to do things as an individual. So this is me as an individual. And what I can do is I can use TurboTax to do my taxes. I can use email through Gmail to do my email thing. I can do um, I can use file shares for uh, using box and share my files. I can manage my personal finances using software like um, I can manage my personal finances using uh, Dave Ramsey's software. I can't think of what it's called right now, but I can manage my personal finances. And I can learn about all kinds of cool stuff using tools like YouTube. So I can, I can learn and using universities, websites, all of those types of th things. Um, I can keep track of my fitness using my Fitbit. Um, I can do social networking using Facebook. Okay. So this, these are all of the things that me, as a poorly drawn individual, can do using the internet. And obviously... A lot, a lot more. I can stream videos. Um, so Netflix. So entertainment, all those types of things I can do as an individual. Okay. Well, not all of these things. Actually, almost all of these things do not scale and um, they do not scale, and there's reasons why we don't use them in a business environment. Um, for example, email, we don't want to put our personal emails out on the web a lot of the time. So that's why we host them on, um, on a Microsoft Exchange ser server. So this is my corporation. And my corporation, my poorly drawn corporation, it has very similar needs. It has needs around um, finance. It has needs around... Um, which would be similar to TurboTax. 
it has needs around social social networking for for uh, employees and it has its own website in which the company manages social social networking it it has um, it has storage that needs to be um, that 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 is used so think about like file shares for a specific company there's things called uh, F FTP file shares um, there's internal learning that that companies do not want to necessarily share out all of their company secrets so there's there's learning um, there's uh, I think I did I said email but I didn't write it down okay so it, there's all these things that companies do and and companies companies need applications to do all all of these things and then there's company specific things like say you are a healthcare company there's like healthcare rep, healthcare records there's um say you're an airplane company you're going to need to have um you're going to need to have specifics on like your your um, jet engine testing applications so there's um, engine testing running industrial equipment all those types of things need applications to run them and these applications are all run inside of a company firewall and this is the intranet of, of a company. So this is the intranet versus the internet. And the intranet is typically used, uh, it, unless you're an extreme geek, it, it, it's used in companies. So and it's used to, to provide all of these things that like you as an individual would need. And then you as a company, you need them at a much greater scale and a lot of times you need them in a way that that no one else can access the information to make sure that none of your secrets and your secret sauce is leaked to the competition to the rest of the world so getting into the it industry i understood that there was like this huge amount of storage and i really just thought it was like file shares but I didn't realize that there's a whole finance sector called ERP that runs uh, very large financial records. There's um, there's email. There's uh, there's video streaming. There's records of all different types, and all of these things um, all of these things help run a business and keep a business up and running. So I hope this helped you understand why companies have all these applications and what the intranet is it's it's a is a a network segregated system that provides all of these um, a lot of different services that keep a business up and running my name is zach fisher and please like subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Thank you.